Wagab. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys a cool little modification that I did to my PC in order to help make my life a little bit easier and make my computer a little bit more accessible. Now, what I'm talking about is a remote that allows you to turn the computer on and off and also reset it. It is basically a wireless remote for your PC, but it only has two buttons, just a reset button and a power button. Now you're probably thinking, why would you need something like this? But I can tell you off the top of my head that I've used this a few times already and I find that it's very useful because one, I have a PC that is connected to a TV and the mouse isn't always within reach and also I find myself having to get up walk to the TV and turn off my PC because I'm not using a wireless mouse I have to approach the PC just to turn it off another reason why this is helpful is when you forget to turn off your computer or your PC as you're about to leave you can use this to turn it off rather than having to go all the way back into your room or wherever it's situated and turn it off manually these are just two examples of what I personally uh, have used this for and I'm sure that there are many other reasons as to why you would want something like this as well so I'm pretty sure you can come up with a fair few other reasons as to why you would want something like this for your PC just to break it down for you what you get in the box is basically this remote and it comes with a battery and you also get PCIe card and with the card it comes with a set of cables and that allows you to plug it into your PC header and then plug the cables from the front panel of your PC into the power switch and the reset switch. That way you're able to use both power buttons and reset buttons at the same time. It doesn't take away from being able to turn off your PC and reset it from the front panel of your computer. So you know it's basically a cool little add-on. To install it you need to have a spare PCIe slot times one at least. If you did not know, you can install a PCIe card times one in either a times one, times four, times eight, or times 16 slot. Either of them will be able to accept a PCIe times one card. So therefore, as long as you have a spare PCIe slot, then you're able to install this and get it to work. This has a range of about 20 meters. So that's a fair distance in order to um, be able to turn your computer on and off. And it is a completely wireless remote. It does not matter if something is obstructing in the way. It doesn't run off an infrared tab. So you don't have to be in sight of the PC in order to use it. You can even have a closed door in front of you. And as long as you're within 20 meters of your PC, you're able to press the button and it will turn on the PC or turn it off or reset it if that's what you want. So with that said, let's jump into this modification and I'll show you guys pretty much how you remove it and then pretty much how we install it. I've got the remote in my hand. I'm going to put it behind my back, press the button and as you see, it works just like any power button would. Just going to quickly remove everything and once I get to the card, I will give you guys a closer look of how it looks. So I'm going to have to remove my graphics card holder, that way you can see everything. Okay, so if you take a look here, I've got two PCIe cards and it's the top one here that is the device. As you can see, it simply plugs into your PCIe slot and then it has a cable that comes off it and that splits into your power switch and your reset switch. So I'm going to remove it. There we go. Just pull that out. Unplug it from here. This is exactly what you get. You get the remote itself. They give you a battery. And you get the PCIe card and the cable that plugs into the header for the PC. So in order to install it, you simply plug this in. It only goes in one way. Okay, you plug that in. As for your connection, it plugs in just like any other power switch and reset switch. You plug the females into the header of your PC and the males will then plug into the cables off your front panel for your PC case. That's how simple this installation is. 
So we're going to install it back into the PC now and we'll then we'll have a quick little demo. Put in our battery. Okay, we'll test it, make sure it works. Okay, the light comes on, so we know that works. All right, so here I have my power switch and my reset switch for, that comes off the PC case. So first I'm gonna plug in the males and then I'll plug in the females. We'll plug power switch to power switch. Okay, that's in. Reset to reset. That's it. And we'll just plug that in. There we go. Make sure it's plugged in all the way. Perfect. And now we'll simply plug in our power switch and our reset switch. I like to use a set of needle nose pliers and that way I can just grip on it and plug it in. Alright, so that's our power in. We'll try that. So as you see it turns on now. So we pretty much have it plugged in correctly. I'll turn it back off real quick and we'll plug in the rest of it. Okay. Alright, that's it. Perfect. Okay, and now we can install the PCIe card. It will go in like this. I've actually got a spare PCIe slot up the top, so I'm going to use that rather than plugging it into my uh, time 16 slot. That way it doesn't share the bandwidth with the um, graphics card. Undo my top slot. Instead of installing it in the slot that I had it in before, which is this time 16 slot here, I'm going to install it in the slot that was made for it, which is just here above my graphics card. As you can see right there, that is a PCIe slot times one, and that's designed perfectly for this card. Okay, that's it. We're in. Okay, so we have it installed now. Alright, so looking in here, you can see that we have the card successfully installed right here. Okay, and it's in the PCIe times one slot just there. So now we'll just route our cable where it needs to go. There's a little gap up here, so we'll push it up through here. Okay, so I've just briefly taken this back out again so we can plug this in here. Put that back in. In now and now we can just reinstall the card and we're pretty much good to go plugging everything else back in We just check our cables again, make sure it's all plugged in. Give it a test run before we put everything back together. So here we go, we'll press the power button. And beautiful. Now that we have all those three screws in that hold the graphic card holder, we'll just make sure everything is still plugged in with everything back together. Test it. Beautiful. As you saw, just have to press the power button and it turns everything on. Press the reset button, make sure it registers. As you see, the red light there comes on. I don't know if you can see that, but there you go, right there. See that red button? That lets you know it all works. And now I'm going to press it from the panel and it works just fine. So as you can imagine, there are a few things that you could use a modification like this for. So, you know, get creative, see what you can use it for. Comment below, let me know. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Ring that notification bell in order to keep up with the uploads. Until next time guys, this is Mike with Mikey's Vlogs, signing off.